Now, even though OpenMoco is a software project, there is, of course, a hardware component to this. We do have to deliver, and we want to deliver, handsets that are designed to support the OpenMoco software. So the first version of this is what we call the GTA 01 of the Neo 1973. And you can really think of this as a very, very early prototype. In a typical company, this would be the prototype that would be delivered in-house to some of the key developers so they can continue to develop the device drivers, can start to prototype the applications, and can start to get a feel for how the end result will be. Um, quite uh, in contrast to other consumer companies, we have actually sold this to the general public. And what that means is that the general public right now is seeing handsets that really don't work. In other words, they are very early prototypes. The software is buggy, sometimes the software doesn't exist, and um, far from seeing this as a bug, this really is a feature. This illustrates uh, how open we are. It illustrates how anxious we are to put these devices into the hands of our community, even so far as to giving them access to these things before they really work. <clears throat> the next version that will be coming out in November is the GTA 02, and that is a version of hardware that is much more nailed down, much more uh, close to a final consumer product. It has improved uh, graphics, it has improved CPU speed, um, it has a better GPS chip, things like that. Um, and most importantly, you will be able to have all the software running on it so that people will be able to use it as a cell phone right away. Um, and then the third slide, the third picture here represents that we don't see this as the end of the line. We do continue to have a continued line of open, of open Moco hardware, hardware that will support the Open Moco software platform. And uh, it's not so much that it's a secret other than that we haven't really defined what it is yet. Now the one last slide that I'd like to show is sort of to pre-anticipate a question that we get all the time. It was perhaps an unfortunate coincidence that OpenMoco came out almost exactly the same time that the iPhone came out. And we are constantly asked, how is this better than the iPhone? And uh, at first I got angry when I heard these questions because as far as I was concerned, we never meant to compete with the iPhone and the question was irrelevant. Uh, but I've come to realize that uh, much as I don't like the fact that we are compared to the iPhone, it does present an opportunity to talk about the OpenMoco project. So OpenMoco is really a platform for developing, it's an open source platform for developing innovative applications. The iPhone is sort of a particular product that Apple came up with, and um, if you look at it that way, they're really two very, very different projects. They don't really share much in common, other than the fact that they both happen to look like cell phones, and they both happen to have a large touch screen. But that's really where the similarity ends. So we never aimed to be better than the iPhone. We never aimed to compete with the iPhone. And I believe that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Oh, yes, let me demonstrate one of the Neo 1973s. Um, I should explain that OpenMoco is the software framework. The Neo 1973 is the first piece of hardware, the first handset, that supports the OpenMoco software framework. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The name comes from the fact that 1973 was the year the first cell phone came out. Neo 1973 suggests this is the new cell phone. This is sort of, to the same extent that the first cell phone was revolutionary, this is the next step in that revolution. Uh, and contrary to what popular, some people think, this has nothing to do with the Neo character in the Matrix. Um, so what we have here is the user interface that OpenHand put together. And uh, we have our today screen that shows whether I've missed any calls, whether I have any new messages, what my calendar items are for today. I can look at some of the popular applications. In particular, I can run the dialer. It looks a lot like a typical smartphone dialer. You'll notice this is a touch screen. There are no buttons on the phone. There actually is a button on the side here. And there's another button up here. 
and those are soft buttons, so the program, the uh, programmer can decide what to actually do with those buttons. Let's see, what else can we show you? The contacts application, which is empty right now. And if I go back to today, we can see that the two applications that I have running currently are the contacts, the contacts application and dialogue application that we brought up earlier. So this is a list of all the applications that I could run. This is a list of the applications that are running currently. And this just brings me to the home page where I can see what phone calls I've missed, what events I have going on today, um, and what messages I have coming in. So pretty much the typical applications that you would accept from a smartphone. And we're looking forward to adding many, many more applications as the community comes up with them. Excellent. Thank you very much.